Sir, I was just going over a research article I've been writing for the Armed Forces Medical Science Journal. I'm... Well, I'm a bit nervous about it, actually. I've never had an article published in the journal. It's quite prestigious. I've never seen you do a bad job at anything, Ilara. Your article is sure to impress them. I appreciate the vote of confidence. I may not hear back for some time. There's quite a bit of writing in the medical field at the moment. One of the side effects of wartime. I'll just have to wait and see. You're a good friend and a good comrade, Yoon. Sir, I'm afraid I need to request a brief leave of absence. It's Kalor. He's attempting to exploit a loophole in Investigative Appeals Process Subsection 4 in order to reopen his inquiry without new cause. What can we do to put an end to this? A preemptive strike is the only option. I'm not going to give Kalor the time to carry his supposed investigation any further. I'm going to Coruscant. I have every message, every report, every call recorded. It's time to demonstrate to Kalor's superiors exactly what his supposed service to the Republic has accomplished. I'll come with you. With my word backing you up, you can't fail. You're very kind to offer, sir. But I need to handle this myself. Bringing a war hero along would seem like a diversionary tactic. I'll return as quickly as possible. Sir, I am ordered to report that I, Alara Dawn, personnel number 22795, am no longer classified as a person of concern. The Personnel Division of the Army of the Galactic Republic has declared that I am to be treated as a fully protected legal citizen, effective immediately. You beat him, Elara. You're free. That I am, sir. Kalor never saw it coming. When I exercised my right under Service Code 1 to an immediate personnel hearing, he was literally speechless. I demonstrated documentation for every moment of his pointless investigation. Once the man hours and expenditures were totaled, it came to thousands of credits wasted in wartime. I can't believe it had really gone so far. Yes. Even after I had gathered all of that evidence, the full scale of what had happened didn't settle in until I was presenting it in the hearing. I still can't believe this day has finally come. The suspicion, the reservations, the endless questions. They've been a part of my life for so long. But no more. I am a citizen of the Galactic Republic. It must feel like you're starting a whole new life. It truly does. I've never felt prouder to be serving the Republic. Let's return to the front lines. I want to go back to doing my part. Time to get this ship moving. I'll prepare my equipment, sir. Our opportunity has arrived, sir. We've received intelligence reports that Colonel Rebus is about to test his latest project. A secret proving ground has been established on Hoth. Security will be extensive, but nothing compared to Rebus's usual protection. Sounds like you've got your opening. Neutralizing Colonel Rebus will devastate the Empire's weapons programs. Even I cannot calculate the number of lives that this mission could save. By robbing our enemies of their most despicable weapons, we will rob them of victory, ensuring freedom for generations to come. It was a trap, sir. Colonel Rebus was even more devious than I had expected. You mean it was all a setup? All of the hints and clues that led me to Rebus were fabricated. It was all a scheme to capture my power core. As soon as I defeated the last of the Imperial security teams and confronted Rebus, he activated a specially built device that overloaded my primary energy controls. I was frozen. How did you manage to turn the tables on him? As Rebus and his final few guards approached, I discovered that I still had control over a handful of secondary subsystems. By manipulating those systems, 
I was able to trigger a full emergency shutdown and a rear servo lock, violently propelling me forward just as Rebus came to face me. You actually escaped by collapsing on the guy? It was a desperate ploy, but it was successful. As I hoped, shutting down my power core caused Rebus's device to shut down as well. All systems were restored within 96 seconds. Rebus's surviving guards were still attempting to lift me off of him at the time, so I dealt with them and carried the colonel back to base. Mission accomplished. That is definitely one for the records, 4X. With Rebus in custody, the entire galaxy is a safer place. It will be some time before I can locate an even more impressive target. As soon as I do, you'll be the first to know. So, the journal published my article. I've already received dozens of hollow messages from medical officers and units across the galaxy. I never expected such a positive reaction. I doubt anyone will be throwing accusations at you now. I hadn't even thought of it that way. I would never have learned so much if you hadn't brought me onto the squad. I really owe you a tremendous debt, sir. Thank you. Truly. Sir, I cannot describe how proud I am of Havoc Squad's accomplishments. By all measurable statistics, we've had a real and significant effect on the Republic's success in the war against the Empire. You are an unparalleled leader. A warrior without equal. As long as I continue to function, I will proudly serve at your side. You're the finest combat droid I've ever known. I'm honored to fight with you. Thank you very much, sir. Someday soon, the Republic will march to victory atop the burnt husk of the Empire. With Havoc Squad leading the charge. Tell me, sir. Do you think you'll have children someday? I can only imagine the young soldiers and commanders you would raise. Future defenders of the Republic, one and all. I'd be proud to see my kids serve the Republic. Certainly. I could even tutor them for you. Medicine, biology, Republic and military legal terminology. I'd appreciate it, Alara. You've been a true friend to me. I'd be more than happy to return the favor in the future. Anyway, we have plenty of work to do in the here and now. Let's get to it. <laughs>